Contact lenses have been just this incredible treasure. And preserving its history is always important to do. You are in the one and only Contact Lens Museum, uh, actually in the world. Contact lenses were first utilized on a human in uh, the year 1887. They had a uh, extremely large diameter. They had to make them that big back then because of the extreme weight of the glass. The lenses could only be worn two to four hours because the glass had no ability to breathe. The gift of sight, you know, is such a precious thing that even if they could only get four hours of wearing time, those four hours were incredibly precious to those patients. The primary condition is one called keratoconus, and it's where the very center portion of the cornea begins to bulge forward. The only way to correct it is with a contact lens. What people will do to see is really always amazing to me. If you were a patient in the 1920s or 1930s, you would be sitting right here in this chair this mold would be placed on top of the eye. A compound was mixed called moldite. It would be placed into this syringe and the molding compound would be injected onto the eye. That mold would be then turned into a mold similar to what we see here. Then from there, it would be turned into brass. A flame would come out of here and melt of this glass. A virtual mold would be taken of the uh, brass mold. Plastic was not introduced till the dawn of uh, World War II. These were the small diameter lenses that now could be worn much longer periods of time. I started collecting about 40 years ago. You probably notice I have a left eye here that turns out. Uh, it's called an exotropia. It's a, just a uh, birth anomaly. This left eye was born without a retina. I just fell in love with the eye care field and being a one-eyed individual that uh, made me really appreciate, you know, what vision's all about. Contact lenses are these little pieces of miracles that we put on patients and it just literally changes their lives.